and take the sock off. Good boy, and the other one. And the other one. <laughs> Good boy. Take my sock off. Thank you. And the other one. Thank you, good boy. Okay, so stage one is you teach them to get interested in a game of tug, which can be with a tug toy, with anything at all. And you just play tug with them for a little bit. I tend to let him, um, oh, good boy, good boy. I tend to let Watson pull like i'll keep a little bit of slack and if he's pulling backwards i'll walk with him you know i don't let him use his whole strength because i worry about his teeth to be honest so i would say do that for a few days um maybe even a week just so that they're getting really excited about it and the other thing you can do to get them excited about it is stop the game after i don't know five minutes but stop when they're still interested um so that will leave them wanting more for the following day the next thing to teach them is the word tug tug and you're just going to add that in to play in the game so that's really simple and for us all it meant was every day after we came in um from his walk and he would run in and grab something and when we would start playing we would just say tug 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 as we were playing constantly so that he would associate that word with pulling something that's that's quite an easy stage and if you already have a dog that's interested in tug tug you might already do that um, or you can just introduce that word or any other word that you want to mean pull this just pull what you've got in your mouth so step one encourage them to enjoy pulling and tugging on whatever you want them to a toy step two call it tug tug and get them do that quite a few times again i would say at least three or four times you know three or four separate occasions get them to understand that when you say tug tug it means they pull on something teach them or leave it with the tug tug and do that i would say probably once every two to three games you know it doesn't you don't have to do it every time you play it you don't have to do it every day i probably only do it once every couple of weeks with watson just to make sure it's still there you know so for step three you need to transfer the tug tug command to something else so you can see here i just tied a bit of string um, around a draw handle and so what we're doing now is we're going to reinforce come over here we're going to reinforce what tug tug means watson tug 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 now this is quite interesting because we now use take my socks off for take my socks off but there is a stage to get there where you use tug tug and it's been so long since i've used that that he's clearly forgotten it he is sitting here you can't actually see him can you um so it might actually take a moment for him to remember how to do this tug tug so i'm going to click him for that because we're going to train him to do tug tug good boy good boy suddenly remembered there i was going to say i'm going to use shaping to train him so basically just wait tug tug i am saying the word but obviously i need to have patience and wait for him to tug 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 good boy did you see that draw moved a little bit there good boy clever boy now obviously it might take a lot longer for your dog to do that because dogs will will learn a command and so with with any dog they might may learn tug tug in the game you're playing with them but it's a whole different kettle of fish to move it to another item such as this so be please be patient with them at this stage and you may need to just be sitting here saying tug tug you even maybe don't have to say tug tug just sit with the string and hold it like that and and see if they take it in their mouth um, give them a click and a tree and then let them hold it in their mouth a little bit longer and then you know then start saying tug tug or just use the shaping method to get to the point where they understand that tug tug also applies to other things so then when you have taught them the theory of tug tug can you sit down for a minute good boy you want to transfer that to your sock so the first thing you do is put your sock almost off your foot so like that and then you offer it to them and just say tug tug and some of them might get it straight away tug tug Tug, tug. Tug, tug. Yes, clever boy. What a clever boy. And you, all you're doing, like if you say tug, tug, and they don't do anything, just you're just waiting because they will try something. So Watson's going back and doing it again without any instruction, good boy. So, yeah, if they're not doing it, just you can even take the, tock, the, the sock off. Tug, tug. Tug, tug good boy oh that was a bit rough tug 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 leave it good boy
so we were able to demonstrate the leave it after all what a good boy so yeah take the sock off and try it this way tug 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 good boy clever boy um and then try again then go back to putting it on your foot um and say tug tug good boy clever boy you're so clever Mwah. so remember that if they're not getting it at all if you take it off and they're not getting it and you've got it on your foot and they're not getting it remember that you still need to give them a command such as touch good boy um <coughs> target 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 good boy so that they're still getting a treat and so that it's still interesting for them you just don't want them to get bored watson is actually getting bored this evening because he knows all of this and i'm talking a lot and so he keeps on ringing the bell and going and sitting in the window because he's a bit bored aren't you give me a target target so so just add in any command you want <laughs> watson is now taking my sock off <laughs> um every now and then just stop and do something to, so that they're still enjoying it they're still getting a little treat and so once they have said done tug tug they'll probably just pull it once and they won't pull it all the way off like Watson's got a hold of it just now tug tug you have to just keep on saying tug 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 until they actually pull it all the way off clever boy what a clever boy then you can say you can put it further on your foot and it doesn't matter now which order you do these things in you can put it on further on your foot and say tug tug um and again if you've taught them gentle this will be a bit harder for them tug 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 he's like oh i've got to stand up to do this one tug tug oh god that is quite hard on isn't it there we go good boy um and then you can start saying tug tug take my sock off so hopefully you can follow that i know i think i went a bit fast at the end there because like i said i'm aware that watson's getting a bit bored um but basically once they've got to the point of tug tug and even pulling your sock a little bit click and treat them even if they don't pull it right the way off your foot because you they're still getting it right because tug tug means pull this sock um and then just encourage them to do it again so click and treat and say tug tug and then when they finally get the sock off really make a big deal of it and give them what's called a jackpot treat so give them maybe three or four treats in succession so that they understand that that's the actual goal to get the sock off once they've done that at, at every stage of this do it for three or four days in a row nights in a row whatever until they've really got it in their brain and then you can move on to either saying you take my sock off tug tug or tug tug take my sock off whichever way you want it doesn't matter as long as the tug tug is in there if like me you want them to take both socks off then after they've taken the first one off just say and the other one and hold the other foot forward um, and hopefully they should understand that they need to take that off um, as well but don't rush that bit either because they will be expecting a treat after the first one so you do need to treat them after the first one regardless um, until the whole thing is really second nature to them um, and then again you can start adding in tug tug take my sock off and then just start fading out the tug tug until you get to the point where where we are with Watson where I can sit on the sofa and say Watson can you take my socks off and he'll come over and take one sock off and the other one and then he gets a treat um, and I will always give him a treat for that if I wanted um, to expand that I'd maybe get them to put the socks somewhere or bring them to me or also take Kev's socks off or something like that you know but um, that's not something that I'll use very often now that I've trained him it, it, it's almost like the training is is the fun part and then I, obviously I put it in a video and show you guys and then it goes on a list and I occasionally go through a list of all the things that he can do just for fun and just to remind him you know but it's not something I'm going to be using that often um so I hope that that made sense I hope it wasn't too disjointed with Watson being a bit <laughs> not really in the mood for training this evening and that you understood that but as always ask me any questions and I will do my best to answer them so thanks very much for watching and I will speak to you again soon